Hi everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Taekwondo Step by Step. You know, there are some of us these days that on the one hand we're saying, oh I'm so fat I need to lose weight, and then on the other hand, we keep eating sweet things, cakes, that sort of thing, we really hook into it. I have some advice, at the stage when you feel like you really need to eat something sweet, instead, drink a glass of milk. What happens is, it's good for you on the one hand, and also it takes a little bit of time to digest, more than water, and so it gives you that full feeling. And then, you don't whack on the weight, and it's also good for you. Think about that now, as we go into today's lesson of Taekwondo. Oosh. Hello Master Lee and welcome back. Hello everyone, I'm Yi Gyu Hyun. So now Master Lee, today after having spent the last few weeks on it, it's the last day that we're going to spend on one step sparring, right? Right Andrew, in today's one step sparring, we'll be learning a combination of duyo chagis or jump kicks. If you practice hard, you'll find yourself improving in agility as well as gaining that crucial edge to becoming a Taekwondo expert. Now, it'll be good experience for you, so do practice hard. Right, and of course, there's the saying that goes, in order for something to be truly successful, you must finish it well, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's get into it right now. <laughs> okay, everyone, for one step sparring, it's really hard to jump and kick your opponent, spinning your whole body around. The technique we'll be learning is called Tiyo Bomdolyo Huryachagi. You might be intimidated by the difficult moves, but you too can do it. Alright, same as before, you take a step back when he kicks. Now you lift your leg while spinning your body at the same time. This is a crucial preparatory move. Now, while also twisting your body, you then lower the left leg, and before it touches the ground, you follow up with a powerful huryachagi. Okay, now in actual speed. All right, did you get that? You can practice along with Andrew now. Okay, it's still looking a bit hard, but no problem. Now it's time for us to put them all together so that you can see them one more time. It's time now for the demonstration. Taekwondo is basically a very exciting sport, but this next section just makes it even more exciting to watch, doesn't it? Let's have a look now at the free sparring. It's now time for free sparring. As I emphasized before, it's really hard to learn these kicks where you have to jump, but don't be disappointed. Practice makes perfect, everyone. Yeah. As before, the opponent is a very agile person, kicking immediately whenever I make a move. 
so it's really hard to actually counter his attack. It's also as hard to lure him, lure him toward you. In this case, don't hesitate to make a kick at the same time. You can either block his thigh, step on it, or even tap his shin or ankle to get the rebounding motion ready for an attack. This is how it's done. Of course, what's important is to back out if you fail to kick him successfully, and on the other hand, go in for a consecutive attack. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Did you find what you've learned today? Did you find it profitable? Of course you did. But it's only profitable if you can remember it all. That's why we give you this time now to remember everything you did in today's Point. Hope you've got it all together now because it's time for our last section and we save the best for last because now it's time for Taekwondo Real Life. We're back on our same quest to teach one more person how to be safe. Aha, excuse me. Yeah. You're a very cute young lady. What's your name? Arlene. Arlene. Arlene, do you know how to do any martial arts? No, I don't. <gasps> well then, what would you do if somebody grabbed you by the shoulder like this? I have no idea. Well, you are in trouble, but we can help you. We will teach you how to take care of this problem. Right. Master Lee. When someone grabs you from behind like this, you grab his hand with your left hand, and then you change your stance, ducking under and out of his arm. Then to complete this move, you press and pull his elbow, as well as his wrist, like this. Has he kissed me, Yeah. Maybe. Okay, well, it's now time for us to practice in Taekwondo. Real life! That's looking pretty good to me. Master Lee, what do you think? Yes, she did this very well. Whoa! Well, Arlene, that means that you are successful. You guys watch again tomorrow because we'll have one more successful, we hope, person, okay? <laughs> See you guys next time. Well, guys, we've done our best to teach you. It's now up to you to practice everything that we have taught you this week. Yes, starting from next week, I'll be teaching you the eighth pattern, the Taeguk Palchang, the last of the Taeguk series. Right, but of course, I will be with you on the weekend, so make sure you catch us then. <sighs> but today, that's all we have. Master Lee, thank you so much for teaching us. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hit up! Okay.